guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Today, we're going to be trying the new Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydro Maniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. I bought this a while ago, it's been laying here, and I've been dying to try it because you guys know I love these types of products um, when they just like, they're kind of like a mix between a tinted moisturizer and a foundation oh my god i've got i've got hay fever so ignore that um before we jump into this video i'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one's going to go to deep chica verma so thank you so much for your sweet comment i really appreciate it and if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so i'm not going to blabber on too much but on the box it says that it claims to have up to 24 hour hydration lasting all day moisture skin is significantly more hydrated after 24 hours up to 24 hour glow dewy juicy finish healthy looking skin glow and up to 24 hour wear weightless medium coverage looks fresh all day it has kombucha filtrate and marula oil and it says it's got medium coverage now the shade i got is 51 and on their website you have this like filter that you can try on your skin and I did that because I had no idea what shade I was and there's not as many shades as a foundation would have but it was quite easy to like use that filter and find my shade and that was directly from the Urban Decay website. I'm trying to not put heat on my hair so we're dealing with this kind of hair for now. Here's a close up of the tube. I love the tube. It's so pretty. Um, love Urban Decay packaging. Looks a little bit on the lighter side but... Yeah, I thought it was a bit, a, a bit liquidy, but it's quite thick. A lot of you guys realise don't like it when I use darker products, like darker foundations or like bronzers. But like, I just want to come on here and say like, everyone has their like preference, you know? I personally prefer like a bronzier finish rather than appearing lighter or like, because anything that's lighter just makes me look really ashy especially around my mouth area but this is literally exactly my skin color right now because it's so pale um but this is i'm actually quite surprised at how thick this is i wasn't expecting it for this product It's just made my skin literally look like porcelain. Wow. I had this mountain of a spot. My lip, my lip fold is like covering it, but it's so painful. But yeah, I'm not gonna even put any more because I'm not gonna lie, it does feel a little bit thick on the skin. Um, but that is like, the coverage is really good. It's covered like, my scarring not too bad i mean i can still see a bit of it but yeah definitely medium coverage for this product it feels so nice you can feel it which is fine but like it literally made my skin look like quenched and porcelain like can you see that glow oh it was really nice i'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup okay one of the claims on this box says that it's weightless i wouldn't say it's completely weightless because i can feel it and when I touch my skin, it's a little bit sticky. Like I, I'm really tempted to put more powder on, on some areas on my face. Um, so I can't, maybe I put too much, I don't know, but the finish of it is gorgeous. So I don't know, maybe if I use this again, I'll probably try and use a little bit less uh, for sure, but it blended really nicely. And yeah, my skin just looks plump and like porcelain. That's like the finish that it's giving me and I really, really like it. It's definitely dewy, juicy finish. Like that's what I'm saying. Like it's giving me that plump skin look, which I love. Yeah, it's supposed to look fresh all day and just stay hydrated. So we're gonna put that to the test today. It's now 7.09 a.m. I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day and we'll see how this wears. But so far, it's really pretty. Like do I see myself wearing this? definitely like this is just like so gorgeous i definitely would like put a bit less product next time but the shade's really nice the, sh the shade matching 
um, tool that was on the Urban Decay website is really helpful and spot on because it matches me really well like right now. I know the shade above this one looked a bit orangey so I, that's why I didn't go for that one. Um, but yeah, everything else sat really beautifully on it. Yeah, I just love the way my skin looks right now. It looks really smooth, right? No like flakiness around my nose either. So yeah, I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day. By the way, I paid 29 pounds for this, which to be honest, not bad for an Urban Decay product. So yeah, I'll see you guys later on. Oh my God, it is now 7.40 p.m. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. I don't even see the days go by at this point. Like I'm just sat at my desk working all day long. Then like just do the basic stuff I do in the evening. I've had this makeup on for just over 12 hours. And yeah, I'm not too mad at it. Like it looks pretty good. I haven't gone out, I've just been indoors and I haven't worn a mask. Although I feel like, you know, just feeling it, like it does transfer. So like it's definitely something that will transfer onto a mask. Um, but I will definitely show you guys a close up in a bit, but some bits have come off like around my mouth, especially on the tip of my nose. Like there's, there's nothing left on there. Although I was blowing my nose a lot. Um, yeah, my nose is a little bit dry and there's not much on my nose left because yeah, I've just had this really bad like hay fever today. It's so weird. Cause like even around my mouth area, it's gone like kind of dry too. But like everywhere else, it looks pretty good. It hasn't really given me smile lines. But yeah, I think overall it's it's a good product. It, it feels more like a foundation rather than like a tinted moisturizer or anything like that. I'm really happy with the shade. Is this something that I see myself using after like seeing how it wears throughout the day? Um, definitely. I just love how it made my skin look. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, if I, if I were to use it again, I'll definitely use like a primer underneath and a bit more powder in some areas where it came off just to help the longevity. I don't necessarily agree with the claim that it's up to 24 hour wear because I've been wearing it for 12 hours and some places have come off. Some areas it's gathered here, but it's nothing major. Like I definitely would wear this and wear less product with a primer and a bit more powder. I think it'll be really good. Like it's it's a nice product i definitely see myself using this for sure i have to use it more times to see if i would go out and repurchase it but i'm really happy with my purchase to be honest it's a nice product i think i would rate it a good 8 out of 10. it's really nice guys but yeah it's just gathered around here a little bit it's come off but everywhere else it looks kind of okay it's come off on the tip here no smile lines I mean, that's not bad. I really tried to get up close so you guys can see. I was really, really excited to try this out, so I'm glad I did. Um, if you guys want me to review other products, let me know in the comments below. I hope you found this review helpful, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.